Welcome back to the Bearded Garage. Today we're gonna do something quick. We got a uh, 2015 Toyota Tundra here. I've got a big old uh, dent right here in this bumper cover piece. So the chromed out piece is messed up. The other side is actually fine. So what we're gonna do is replacing this one. I got two of them just to see. Um, I'm guessing they're not gonna match. I'll just replace them both, All right? Follow along, thanks. All right, I just opened the box here. I got me a got me a couple of genuine Toyota parts. So we're gonna see how this comes off. I think you actually start right here. It looks like a couple of bolts. So we'll start with those and uh, get going. I'll let you know what you gotta do. I think this is a pretty easy job, but we'll see. Here we go. All right, underneath the truck here, I'm gonna start with these four bolts. One, two, uh, three, and four. These are looks like. 12 mil we're gonna undo these and uh, we'll show you what we have afterwards all right so this bolt here uh, is not going to come out with a little bit of persuasion so we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to give me a cold chisel maybe a little sledgehammer and uh, beat that out a little bit so we can get that bolt out all right looking from underneath i've got uh i got these four bolts out next thing we have to do is uh there's some upper bolts all right uh you can see one back in here in order to get those out, the uh, bumper, the plastic black bumper cover um, is held in with these clips. So if you try to pry from the other side, you can actually break them pretty easy. So what I'm going to actually do is, uh, let's see if I focus there, there we go. Uh, you can actually use your thumbs on this side and push them in without breaking them off so that we don't have to buy a whole new plastic piece. See that? So you'll see there's, uh, there's one here, there's one over here, one on the other side, then we can actually get the... Uh, looks like there's three or four bolts. There's a bolt there, and then uh, one or two on the end over here. All right, once we push those plastic tabs down or up from the bottom, should be able to pop these off and save all the plastic clips. So you see all these plastic clips are still intact. In, uh, um, then we've got a bolt there, and then I think uh, looks like three bolts there. So uh, this one here I can do with a ratchet, and these I'm going to do with a box end so I don't have to take all this plastic shit off. All right, here we go. All right, so this job turns out to be far more of a pain in the ass than I'd hope it would be. Um, I was able to get the bumper off. You can see this one here, that's what I took off. This is my new bumper. Now there's this bumper frame, I don't know what the hell this is, but it sits inside of it. Now, um, it's actually not a huge deal, it just sits in like this, you can see where that actually matches up the hole, so it's, that's actually not a big deal. The pain turns into a rusty old truck in New York. You know, it's only uh, seven years old, but see, I broke that bolt off, and I broke... Uh, there's another one back here somewhere. Um, this one, I think. Right here. So, now... Uh, I've got to get those out because I got to bolt this bumper back to it. And, um, so I bought, I broke a couple total. I think I broke five or four or something like that. So I called Toyota. It's not a huge deal. They're only a dollar 30 or dollar 28 a piece, something like that. So, um, and I can have them tomorrow. So I'm going to put this all back together, uh, with the bolts that I have. I went and took them, even though some of them were rusty as hell. Um, and I ran them up on the, on the buffer. So I put them on the brass wheel. Uh, just so I can put them back in tonight because I want to put this back together. And then the ones for the bottom, when I'm underneath, I'll just use the brand new ones. Um, so those will be the last ones I put in probably tomorrow. All right, stay tuned. I'll show you how I get this out. It's nice and fun. All right, in order to get these off, uh, the last two bolts that were tucked up here were actually a huge pain without taking this plastic piece off. So similarly to how I did it on this side, I also did it on the other side and then just popped this off all the way across. Uh, this was held in, you can see these spring clips right here. Um, actually just pulled them out. Um, and then the last thing holding it on was actually a screw right in the center behind the license plate. So once I pulled off this side, I popped that side off. I had to un un take off the license plate and uh, take the screw out in order to get this uh, plastic piece off. But with this plastic piece out of the way, now I can get access to all the bolts easily. You know, I won't be um, busting your knuckles trying to get stuff out of there. So I'll show you as I put it back together. First thing I'm going to do is try to get this one off. 
Unfortunately, there's a lot of metal here, so I'm just gonna just heat this bolt up, heat the nut up, or heat the bolt up. almost cherry red so I'm gonna give her some vice grips uh, crank her back and forth and then slowly just wind her out I think hopefully this will work I don't have to drill this out this is Got it out, threads still look good. Uh, that is annoying. One more to go and then I can reassemble this damn thing. Now to get this back together, uh, I'm actually gonna take the bumper, I'm gonna slide it up into here and I'm gonna use one bolt in the back to hold it in place. In fact, I'm gonna use the one that goes through this hole here. So I'm gonna slide it into place and I'll show you what I got. And then from underneath, I'm gonna slide this black piece in. Um, and uh, I think it's a little bit easier that way. Here we go. All right, all I did here was slide the bumper on. You can see it's actually really loose. But it's held in place by one bolt in the back. There's still a couple of holes left. In fact, I think there's what, six or seven? One, two, three, four, five, six bolts on the top. But uh, uh, you can't get, like there's nothing actually to bolt to here until you slide this black plastic piece in. So I'm gonna get down underneath and show you how I put that in. Now what I did is I took the bumper, uh, pivoting on the top bolt that I screwed in over here, I pushed it out that way, and I slid this in, you can see it's just sitting in place. So the, uh, the key is, you'll see, there's actually not a lot of places for it to go. So this goes in here, and this, this metal piece goes in this tab, so this little slot goes in like that. Um, and then the hardest one to put together, and the only one you really need to wank on, is this one here. So you've got you get this up above the frame and the bumper underneath. So that's the one you do first. Otherwise, you can spend a lot of time fighting with it. And then the rest of them just go hopefully easy. All right, the bumper is mostly on. Uh, now we're just going through some final adjustments. Uh, the adjustments here are with uh, the two bolts in the back and then I think this one here. So this one's the only one that's loose. This one and these two. Um, and what you want to do is you want to check the gap here. Uh, you don't want that gap to be too big. It can actually be about that big based on the adjustments because there's a huge slop in the bumper here. Um, like, for example, this one is just a small hole, so it pivots there. Um, so you can actually adjust it. So we go look at the other side. You can see we got... I call that uh, right up to the, my middle knuckle. All right, let me come over here. Oh, boom, middle knuckle. I mean, it's it's within a sixteenth all the way around, so she's looking good. Now we're gonna try snapping these damn pieces back on and see how that goes. All right, that bumper snapped in real nice and easy. The only kicker is uh, these uh, license plate lights. They gotta tuck down in, so it's gotta go down and around. But other than that, all these, you can see they snap right in nice. Snap right in nice here. So next is these uh, end caps Ugh, right here. Um, what you gotta do is start with this guy here. You tuck him back in that little hole in the back there. And then this one overlaps. 
should go just like that. Look at that. Look at that, like a damn champ. It's like you've done this before, huh? Last couple things is the trailer. So you can see both these pieces are on. Looking good. So there's the trailer connections here. So this just literally twists in. These metal clips, you literally just push them and they snap in place. Uh, oh, you gotta push them from the other side. So I'll go do that. Um, and then you gotta screw the bumper in. That's literally just a silly Phillips head screw. Uh, let me see if I can find that. All right, the last is this stupid plasticky screw here. It goes right in the middle. That just goes in there and holds the bumper into there. Got to clip that back in, and then we got to clip some of the electronics back in because there was a plug in the back. Um, we just unclipped the wire, so. All right, so the trailer hookup is here. Uh, I just had to push it in from the back so these clips can engage. And then the last thing. Oh, so all the rocks underneath. The last thing underneath here. Last thing underneath here is uh, just for simplicity. I unclipped a couple of these. Just didn't undo any connections. Just undid them just so they weren't connected to everything. All right. Uh, that is just about everything. So you'll see the only bolts that I really did are the corner ones. And I left uh, one, two... Uh, I left the others uh, empty, so which is which is really okay um, for now. Uh, it's just I gotta go buy some bolts, so I'll have those for tomorrow. So this isn't completely secure yet, but it'll be done tomorrow. So I can't finish it tonight, but close enough. Last thing I'll do tonight on the truck is uh, went and uh, brushed this down as much as possible. Nice steel brush, uh, scratched everything I could, brushed it all down, cleaned it all up. I'm gonna hit it with just some rust reformer. Um, instantly converts rust to a protected paintable surface uh, all i'm going to do is is uh pretty that up a little bit the orange doesn't look great but you can see underneath the truck starting to get rusty um i can just touch it up real quick got the box here so i'm not getting it on the floor this is the uh, toyota parts and i just got this here so i don't get any on the on the bumper a couple of quick light coats maybe uh three really light coats um just being careful not to get it in here uh, i filed this out so that uh making sure everything still fits, still want my hitch to fit. So, all right, that's all she got. All right, that's the finished product. We got uh, two new bumper covers left and right. Um, everything went back together nice, and, uh, and the hitch looks a heck of a lot better, not being orange all rusty. So, that's it, baby. That, uh, that was a 2015 Toyota Tundra. Just replacing the bumper parts and i'll tell you that was probably one of the bigger pain in the asses that i that i did in a long time that took me far longer than i expected probably three four hours um i i hadn't expected to uh, break off five or six bolts and, and pop some clips and have to heat things up to to to, to loosen them up and it was just a, a much more of a pain than i want it really goes to show the the crap you have to deal with in upstate new york getting all the salt on these vehicles so um, back to working on the Porsches that uh, never seen salt because, man, they're a hell of a lot nicer. So, hey, uh, uh, hit that like button, uh, uh, hit the subscribe button so you can stay tuned for what's coming up next. Um, this is the Bearded Garage, and I appreciate you. Don't forget, America. Thanks.